Yo, 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 you know what time it is, guys. Photoshop wizard in the house, GFX god in the house, Adobe After Effects noob. In the motherfucking house. Part one and part two are doing absolute numbers. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. This series is probably one of the biggest series on my channel. So it's very nice to have all this growth and support and love. Keep smashing that like button, guys. I was actually very close to deleting part two because after making it, uh, I kind of worked out how to do the effect, but way, way, way better. Um, the Mishko effect. Shout out to Mishko. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. Here's his Instagram up on screen right now. But yeah, I also want to give a shout out to my boy King because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know how to do this style we sat down on discord and we spent absolutely ages just messing around with colors and brushes and merging and blurring and eventually we figured out how to do the mishko effect and to be honest once you know how to do it it's actually kind of effortless so yeah if this video can get 5,000 likes then maybe i will return with another photoshop tutorial and teach you guys how to do the effect for the last time so yeah keep that in mind guys what you're watching on screen right now is what we're going to be doing in this video it's all in after effect you don't need to have watched part one or part two to, to enjoy this video because we're doing everything inside after effects some really cool effects warping melting colors kind of blending it's all animated i'm not actually the best at after effects so instead of making a kind of average tutorial what i thought i would do was share with you guys a template and teach you guys how to edit the text and how to change the colors how to drag your own logos in and then how to render the file so that you guys can go away and use it as intros or outros or maybe just post stuff on instagram because this style is definitely popping off I'm starting to see it all over Instagram, all over Pinterest. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get Adobe After Effects open and let's get straight into part three. Okay, guys, so the first thing that you're going to do is open up the video description down below and go and find the Dropbox link. Once you've clicked on the link, you should be able to find the folder that says Adobe After Effects template. Open this up and download the file. Okay, so once you're in Adobe After Effects, I've tried to keep this as simple as I possibly can. You're going to see these three main folders that you find inside the RGB liquid glitch. Ignore these, these are just my personal images. As you update your own images, you're going to find they're going to appear up here. But for now, we're going to ignore these and you're going to go into the edit me section. This is where all the magic happens. This is where you're going to be changing everything and customizing it. So if you can see, we have text one, text two, text three, text four, all the way down to text eight. And if you then go into the finished visual section and double click on the render, you're then going to see this is where all of the effects render out. So for example, the first one here is number one, then it will go green here. This is number two then subscribe or die. This is number three and we keep going forwards and forwards. Um, so let's say we wanted to change number two where it says liquefy your visuals. We're going to go over here and we're going to double click on text two. You can now double click on the text and you can change this to say anything you want. now change the font you do this by going down over to the right section here in the right middle and then selecting the font some fonts look better than others so you can play around you, you have to do is download fonts and they're going to appear in here let's try this one it looks a little bit awful but that's just for the sake of the tutorial let's show you guys what it looks like you're then going back over here and we're going to close the text to edit section we're going to double click back on the render section and now you can see it says anything you want. Now you can see on the first one, I actually have an image. You see how it says Astro World there? If you, go to, if you go to the text section, text one, you can delete your text and you can drag an image in. You can drag a JPEG or a PNG in. That works absolutely fine. And then the last thing to mention is that there's a section over here called logo to edit. If you open this up, this is where I've got my logo. Sometimes you're gonna click on it and you're not gonna see anything. If you press space bar, you'll see it. It's just because the cursor's not actually on the timeline. So here, you just have to select the mouse, select my logo, delete my logo, drag your own logo in, and then once again, go back to the render and you will find 
it will be your logo instead of my logo. Now there's loads you can do with this pack, definitely have a play around, you can go into colours, there's lots of colour effects that you can change. And to be honest guys, that is it really for this pack. Once you're ready to render it out so that you can have your file as an mp4 ready to use in a video, all you have to do is go over here, double click on the render, this is going to bring your render bar up, this is where everything appears. And then what you want to do is go to file, export and then add to render queue. This is gonna bring it down the bottom. It might ask you to select a file location. It didn't do this for me last time, but this time it's come up in blue, not yet specified. You choose where you want to render it. So I'm gonna say render 2.0, I'm gonna save it. And then you can see over here, there's a little box that just says render. You're gonna click that. It might take a while. This is a very big file. If you only want one of the images, then delete all the other text box and remove them from the render section. And then it will only render the one that you want. So yeah, guys, it's pretty simple. Like I said earlier in the video, 5,000 likes, and I'm gonna try and learn this myself so I can teach you guys in real time how to do this effect. So I'll also be coming back with either part four or five being the Photoshop tutorial where I teach you guys my new and improved method of creating this visual artwork inside Photoshop. So yeah, guys, drop a like for that. Comment down below what you want to see next. Thank you all for the support on this series. It's going absolutely crazy. All the new subs. I love all of you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you have fun with this pack. Uh, and that is it from me, guys. Take care. Peace. Pew.